This morning on Press Freedom Day, India has been ranked 161 out of 180 countries on the World Press Freedom Index. India slipped down 11 places from its number 150 ranking last year. In this video, we'll give you some context on how these rankings are determined, what negative developments have affected India's poor ranking, and share how the Internet Freedom Foundation is working to secure press freedom. So what happened in the last year that made India fall 11 places? The report released by global media watchdog Reporters Without Borders RSF, notes several factors. It highlights India's declining media pluralism and how charges like sedition and defamation are often used against journalists, resulting in arbitrary arrest. It also notes how the government's spending of over 130 billion rupees a year on ads makes media outlets reliant on them for advertising contracts. Socio-culturally, India's diverse society remains underrepresented in mainstream media, with the majority of newsrooms dominated by upper caste men. Lastly, the security indicator flags how India is one of the world's dangerous countries for the media, with an average of three or four journalists killed each year. Apart from physical violence, journalists also face coordinated social media harassment campaigns, with women journalists particularly vulnerable. The index also notes the worrisome situation in Kashmir, where journalists are exposed to harassment by police and paramilitaries and can be subjected to provisional detention. There's been a gradual erosion of press freedom, but these processes are not imperceptible. They're visible and alarming. India banned a BBC documentary on the Prime Minister, conducted an income tax raid on BBC offices and seized the mobiles and laptops of the journalists. The government also recently proposed a provision in IT Amendment Rules 2023 requiring all online information regarding the union government to be subjected to a fact check by a government bureau with content deemed fake, false or misleading having to be ordered to be taken down. And once again, India topped the list for the most internet shutdowns in the world. IFF's work on press freedom ranges from challenging unjust laws to providing support and resources for journalists. Some of our key initiatives include number 1. Challenging the Sedition Law In May 2022, in a historic win, IFF's petition helped secure an order by the Supreme Court putting on hold all ongoing prosecutions under Section 124A of the IPC also known as the colonial era sedition law, which was often used against journalists critical of the state. Number two, securing the first day order on internet shutdown in India. Unnecessary internet shutdowns restrict the flow of information and curb press freedom. In March 2022, IFF challenged an internet shutdown order issued by the state of West Bengal, which led to Calcutta High Court staying the order and restoring services in eight districts of the state. Number three, challenging the IT rules. IFF has been actively involved in challenging and scrutinizing the IT rules and the several amendments to it. In 2021, IFF assisted musician TM Krishna in challenging the IT rules 2021, which seek to increase government control over OTT platforms and digital news media platforms. It led to stays on rules 9.1 and 9.3 in Madras High Court. IFF is also representing Live Law, an online legal news portal, against these rules and secured an order from the Kerala High Court protecting Live Law from any coercive action. IFF recently represented comedian Kunal Kamra in challenging the constitutionality of the fact check rule in the IT Amendment Rules 2023. Consequently, the union government had to provide an undertaking to the Bombay High Court that it will not constitute its fact checking unit until July 5, 2023. Number 4. Investigating Pegasus Following a 2021 international investigation that revealed the use of Israeli spyware Pegasus to target journalists and activists, the Supreme Court formed a committee of technical experts to investigate the matter, which consulted IFF's director Apar Gupta on surveillance in India. However, the committee's report remains sealed. Number 5. A legal clinic for journalists in September 2021, IFF founded the Digital Patrakar Defence Clinic (DPDC) to defend the rights of journalists and media persons. DPDC provides pro bono legal support ranging from direct legal representation to pre-publication guidance for journalists working on high-risk stories, as well as practical guides covering topics like protection of sources, lookout circulars, sedition, defamation, etc. Number 6. 
following upon section 66A of the IT Act. While section 66A of the IT Act had been deemed unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in 2015, cases were still being filed under it for purposes including stifling political dissent and harassing journalists. I have assisted PUCL in an application to stop these ongoing cases, resulting in the closure of at least 1,500 cases. Now, more than ever, your support is crucial for us to help us in the fight for press freedom. Donate to us to help us continue our work. Join our Telegram community to engage with us further. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.